Hey guys, this is Evan Dukas coming at you at my house in Denver, Colorado. It's in the middle of December here. And I am here next to my successfully grown rosemary plant outside. It is several years old. You have heard that correctly. Uh, this is the challenging, cold, rocky mountain west. And uh, this rosemary is totally growing, totally thriving. And I wanted to take a minute to show you how you can as well, because many Folks, uh, you know, don't believe they can if they live in cold climates, but indeed, very often you can with just a little bit of advice and know-how. So I'd like to show you that, and it will be two main steps. The first step is selecting a good, hardy variety of rosemary, and that really is most of the battle here, guys. So uh, there have been some varieties, uh, some very cold, hardy varieties of rosemary that have been bred throughout the years that can withstand really cold temperatures. And I'm talking sub-zero. Uh, here it's withstood negative 10 degrees. Um, it could have been as much as negative 16 degrees here um, at my house in Wheat Ridge, Colorado. Uh, so those varieties are as follows, at least the ones that I know of. They are in no particular order uh, Hill Hardy, or also known as Madeline Hill. There's also Arp. And there's also Alcalde, and there is also Athens Blue Spire. So I've tried a few of these that I've just mentioned, and my favorite one is ARP, A-R-P. Um, it is just, I mean, it, it's lasted the best. Uh, I did have Madeline Hill as well. Wasn't quite as happy, although I was able to do that one as well. Um, so yeah, choose a good variety. Um, look for them online. Uh, again, ARP is the one that I recommend the most at this time, uh, having tried it myself. Uh, and then uh, step number two really is doing your best to provide good protection and really just a good barrier. Uh, you really want to get it in a good location because location is so important when it comes to growing your plants. So one of the best ways to provide a good barrier uh, and, and just a good microclimate for your plants is to grow it against a south wall of some sort or a southeast or southwest facing wall. A south uh, facing wall is really important because you know the energy, the heat of the sun is is facing it. It is it is uh, beating down on it uh, during many days and causing this whole area, the wall itself and the ground uh, beneath it, to really begin to store some of that thermal mass um, and hopefully. You know, really store it overnight when things start to get cold or over those days that get cold. So just it being uh, in close proximity to a south facing wall or against the wall is really helpful for your plants. It's, it's just going to protect them from uh, the most cold situations and coldest air currents. Now uh, you can see here that this plant is actually in like the most protected area of my whole house because it's not only against a south wall, it's also against an east wall. And this is uh, you know where you really want to get creative and just make the most um, of you know of your planting area uh, wherever that uh, you know may be and really get to know your property well. See uh, the worst air currents and the coldest and harshest winds in my area come from the north, of course, because it's the coldest air, and then also uh, from the west, uh, eastward, because the mountains uh, are a few miles away from my house. So these cold winds come rumbling down the hills. And so, you know, this being protected in this corner is absolutely amazing for, uh, for my rosemary. So, you know, you can just scout out the best situation that you can put it in that really is a huge part of the battle and it will help your cold hardy rosemary to survive. Uh, another thing that you can help do to protect your rosemary is definitely to mulch it. You know, you can see that uh, there's a whole lot of mulch around these plants, leaves, wood chips, and things like that. Um, and if it is the first year or second year, uh, or, you know, you're really limited in your space and you don't have a south wall, or you're even colder uh, than, than a zone 5 or negative 10, and you're really kind of stretching the limits here. Either way, feel free to, to, to mulch up your rosemary, really be, begin to hill up uh, the material um, around the rosemary itself, and even pile it on the rosemary, um, but taking care to allow certain sporadic green branches to poke out of the mulch here and there so that it still is 
able to get the sunlight. So the thing about rosemary is it's not deciduous. It does not lose its leaves in the winter. It is an evergreen. So you don't want to cover your rosemary and make it perfectly dark. You can't quite do that. You don't want it to be dark. It will kill the rosemary because those leaves are still want to, you know, going to want to conduct photosynthesis and absorb the rays of sunlight. Of course, you can get creative with uh, a certain kind of structure over your rosemary if it is clear indeed, because then uh, it will allow uh, the sun rays to get through. Another thing is if you do not have a south wall, if you're growing somewhere in, the, in a field or whatever, just do your best to provide some kind of structure. You can create a little south wall using some stones or you know placing a couple stones or some big logs or whatever you might have that would possibly collect some some of that uh, heat you know that thermal energy and protect your rosemary from, from the coldest uh, driest winds and that really summarizes it go ahead and find yourself a good cold hardy variety and then also just choose a great location that is uh, protecting your rosemary the best you can and i can almost guarantee you that you will grow successfully your rosemary in colder places than the Mediterranean, like like zone seven, six, five even, and maybe even four. I'm not going to guarantee that one, but if anyone can do that, I, I, I beg you to leave a comment uh, because I would love to hear your success. I don't know you guys. I love pushing the limits and the barriers of what they say you, you, know, you can and cannot do. And I think with just a little bit of know-how, uh, you too can successfully uh, grow rosemary in very cold and adverse conditions. This is a fantastic herb and I hope that this video opens up the realm of possibilities for you as it pertains to growing rosemary in a cold climate. If you want to see more videos like this because I will be doing more, feel free to subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions. Until next time.